culprits to ruin our roads experience in the spring is a bug called the sawfly. They eat a lot of holes in the leaves of your roses. And I want to show you how easy it is to apply the Motocloprid, which is the tree and shrub, shrub insect wrench, which is in front of this rock over here. I'm getting the leaves out of here so they don't cause the product to run off where it leaves the root zone. I'm just going to take this little trowel and kind of dig a very small but containing moat um, to put the emoticle print in. All right. Now, the product I'm using is tree and shrub insect rinse with that chemical in that I've mentioned a couple times. You put three ounces of this per foot of plant height. Now, I got about a foot and a half plant here, so I put four and a half fluid ounces in one gallon of water, like the cooking shows I pre-mixed this, so I don't have to do it here. So I'm just going to pour this drench around the base of the plant. And let it soak in slowly, avoiding runoff. It won't hurt to get the plant wet. Now this product will last for practically a whole year. So you shouldn't have to worry about the sawflies eating all those holes in your leaves for the whole rest of the year. They make your leaves look like Swiss cheese. They don't do any grand damage to your plant but they do make them look bedraggled and unsightly. And the very last step with the emoticloprid, is rinsing it in with another gallon of fresh water. All right? This is a pretty easy way to treat plants for an, an incredibly long period of time. Um, they're starting to make more and more chemicals that uh, work as drenches, which is kind of great for us homeowners because it takes us a lot less time to do this uh, versus mixing up a spray tank and running around where you might have to do it two or three times to get the same control. Now I know I'm pushing the envelope a little bit, but uh, to keep things short, I'm going to start watering this in. And it's that simple. After this gets uh, dry and not so muddy, I'll spread the dirt back out so it looks pretty and doesn't look like I made a little moat around the plant. I can come back and mulch um, in a week or so to finish up the bed. And uh, I will pick the extra leaves out of the base of that roof and get the extra leaves out of here. But there's a whole year protection on this plant from sawflies. It's a great product for boxwoods. Uh, many other plant things that get scale. It's great for some of our hardest pests to deal with uh, because they have odd timing issues for when you have to spray. The, the tree and shrub insect drench goes on early in the year and gives you a whole year of protection and it takes a lot of the guesswork of when to spray for those hard to control bugs off the table. So have a great year. People will argue that this may not be the best time to trim a knockout rose. But the best rose trimming job I've ever uh, felt was done was the one that ends up in the finished column. And I can check it off my list to do things and move on to the next. And that's it.